morning, December 6th. Uh, it's probably uh, pushing 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, <clears throat> rolled out of Aurora, okay. Um, back to Spring Hill where I thought I was gonna go. I was right. Um, I rolled out of there, decided to go get a shower. I went down to the pilot and then I decided to take 287 South, which is uh, not much difference in, in, in time. Uh, actually, it's probably quicker when all goes well. All didn't go well. I missed a turn, um, and it threw me a little farther south, and I ran into a snowstorm I would not have hit had I been up uh, 20 miles farther north. Um, and it was bad. I was doing like 35 mile an hour, um, icing up badly. I fought the wind both ways. Um, and, and the easy roll trailers are great. Uh, you just take it, you, you got a, a, like a, a crank handle and you crank the gate up on the back. Then you take this other handle and you undo two screws and pew, you slide the top on that type of easy roll. Problem was when I got in the trailer, there was no, no tools. So I made some phone calls and they told me where to find some spare tools and I got them. And, um, uh, got it all rolled up there at Aurora and uh, started unloading the case glass and uh, you have opener you have cased and and it's all in wooden wooden cases and it's padded and protected and, and on the ends they nail two wooden blocks they take a chain or some take a chain some take a cable and they come around the wood block and they pick it up and as it the, the, the cables are like this so it's pulling in and pulling up and the problem was on the one we had um, they double stacked them like this and the forklift couldn't pick it up. Um, it couldn't get high enough. So we cut notches in the wood farther down for the for the cable to bite because it's pulling hard. It's that was a thirty six hundred ninety pound case. And it's and it digs into the wood where you cut those notches and you can set it off there. Um, once I got the front first case off, then I found in the front of the trailer the tools that I needed. The plant here has their own set of tools for doing these easy rolls. Well, they threw them in the front of the trailer, then filled the trailer full of glass and then closed it. Well, I didn't have the tools to even get the trailer open, so I couldn't even get to the front to find the tools I needed. To, it should have been left in the back of the trailer. That's okay. Um, I got in here and helped them. They didn't have enough people on hand, so I, I was up on the trailer uh, hooking up the cables. It went, it went as smooth as it could, other than the fact that every case had to go to the back of the building. So... Uh, 15 20 minutes per case um, still wasn't a huge deal uh, even catching a snowstorm wasn't a huge deal because uh, they didn't get a load on me here um, till this morning and it don't deliver till Monday in Canada so um, I was looking at my miles per day and, and all that on the PFP board and I'm uh, number seven that's me in the green there. I'm number seven out of uh, oops, number ten, number ten out of thirty-five. So I'm kind of holding my own. This trip's going to hurt though. <clears throat> these uh, these easy rolls are great if you have the right truck. Um, that's the right truck. Mine's a flat top. That's what they call a condo. That's the easy roll trailer. And as you can see, the front end of it is extremely flat. Now we got some pointed, we got some that have a pointed nose on them, but man, the wind just killed my miles per gallon. I think I don't, I never got over five or six miles per gallon. Um, and I need to do seven point something. So that's gonna hurt uh, the PFP. And then this trip here, uh, is going to hurt the PFP. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to get the load. 8 o'clock tonight till 8 o'clock tomorrow. Uh, if I've got to sit here till 8 o'clock tonight, then I'm going to have um, well over 24 hours in on my reset. So I'll just go ahead and wait. Um, go ahead and get the rest of my reset in. Let me see if I can see real quick how many hours I got in. Uh, Right now, I've got 
about 10 hours in, um, cause I wrote, yeah, it makes sense. I wrote in about one o'clock in the morning. So if I sit here till eight o'clock tonight, um, uh, I'm going to have, uh, 12, 12, we have 20, uh, pretty close to 20 some hours, 20 hours, I guess. Hell, I ain't done the math. Um, so I might as well just go ahead and roll up. Maybe I'll go up here to the pilot, get some grub. This morning I'm going to have a leftover pancake and some chicken. Um, stopped at the Huddle House. Love the Huddle House. Um, check the weather in Ontario. It's supposed to be good for the next five to seven days, so we're real good there. It was really funny coming across there with the wind, watching these tumbleweeds shoot across the highway. You know, and you look and the fences are all piled full of tumbleweeds. They're just, you know, here's the fence and here's just tumbleweeds. And you see the one shoot across. Well, he crawled over his friends. His friends are all stuck behind the fence. They can't go anywhere. And this guy just climbed right over him. So he's the winner. He's So he got to go and roll across the highway and get st stuck on the fence on the other side. But you see like ditches just where the winds change direction there. And it's just, just mounted up with tumbleweeds. Uh, it's got an amazing plant you know it, it grows and it makes a flower and then it dies it snaps off and as it tumbles it just spreads its seeds across the countryside yeah I got a new uh, decal for my helmet I'm sure it'll go over well went to Glenny Glass and if they have bad glass they mark it as defective or, or they've, they've made a piece um, and it's, if it's defective, they stick the sticker on it. So I snagged a sticker and stuck it on my helmet and I, I got a extra ones. <laughs> so anyhow, that's basically what's going on. It's raining and snowing here. I wanted to do an outside video instead of sitting in the seat all the time talking, but, uh, rain and snowing and, uh, 36 degrees tip trade bad, but that's where we're at now. And we'll just see what goes on. We'll let you know.